Hello guys, Otto Ace here, and I want to give my thoughts on the PlayStation 5 reveal. So, like I said on my reaction, I give it an 8 out of 10 because they kind of gave me some reason why to get a PlayStation 5. Some of the IPs that I recognize, they're back. Of course, there are some new IPs as well. So, oh man, so at least. So far, the PlayStation, they are offering games to give you a reason for PlayStation 5. In the case with the Series X, for me personally, only maybe one or two. Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, Yakuza, Like a Dragon, and the new anime action game from Namco Bandai. But what about the first party? Of course, you're going to have to wait until July. Aaron Greenberg basically said that. So, with that, what are my thoughts on the whole presentation? First of all, the hardware. Well, like I said on the reaction, it's very futuristic, and some people do say it's look like a wireless router, modem, you name it, because it was standing on its side or in tower mode. However, apparently, more information came in, and it did say yes, you can actually put it sideways like an old tradition console so that's a good thing so but still what's with the futuristic I don't know maybe because it's the future and then a lot of people did point out that the, the reason there's some sort of a game of thing PlayStation 5 PlayStation V so again it kind of makes sense and then of course the whole important part of the console is the vent does it overheat easier than the previous console or is it gonna be harder to get overheat which is, that's a good thing there so it looks like it's gonna be it's not gonna overheat that much like the older console but that was one of the biggest problems I mean granted the 360 as well of course the dual sense controller looks comfortable so again there they did show them some sort of demo about it that the buttons motion control in built-in stereo speaker of course, you can use a headset, maybe a microphone, you know, kind of like the DualShock 4. And of course, there's the new button there. It's like, they call it the share button rather than a, well, not really share button. I think they call it some, I forgot what they called it. And some new, like, updated version, of course. The touchpad looks like it's still there, so. But of course, the dual sense there, so that's actually interesting. Of course, they also show new peripheral. There's a charger for the controller. Or just give me something that I can plug it with a Type C USB. So that's uh, something there. They also show the camera. Yes, yeah, so there will be an HD camera. So what does it mean? Probably PlayStation VR 2. That is a camera. Hopefully it's compatible with PlayStation Move or a new PlayStation Move, whatever. You know, I kind of miss real shooters on the current gen. I mean, probably the VR will do it. Of course, headset. Why not? And a media remote control, so kind of makes sense why you have that because, well, if you don't want to play, you want to take a break, well, you know what? Hey, you can have a, <laughs> you know, a console that plays the app, so I'm not going to assume that's probably going to have Netflix and other apps, so we'll just have to wait and see that one. So that is the console, that's my thoughts. I mean, like I said before, I really don't care what it looks like. If it doesn't overheat, it's easy to live. And it's able to put in the place, it's not a problem. I'm okay with it. I know some people do concern about it, but again, you know, the most important part is not the looks, but the function. So if it doesn't overheat, good. Is it easy to place anywhere that it doesn't overheat? There you go. And the console also shows a USB and a Type C there, so I don't know what's gonna happen, maybe in the future. And Jim Ryan did say that you're gonna have something more. They're gonna add in for the PlayStation 5 more info. You can add in. So with that, first party game. So I have to say the rumors were true for the first party game. There was a list that said what's gonna be on the PlayStation 5, and most of them were right. Uh, a Spider-Man game, a Horizon Dawn game, a Ratchet and Clank game, a Gran Turismo game. So the rumors to something were true. So I'm gonna give thoughts on some of this first part of the game that interests me. So, the first one is Spider-Man, Miles Morales. So, 
in the reaction I did say, oh, it's a sequel, Spider-Man 2, and apparently a lot of people say that it's just an expansion to Spider-Man. Some people do say it might be a sequel, so I kind of like leaning towards that it's an expansion. And I was watching one of Matt Seaman from Yo! Video Game about his thoughts on Spider-Man, and he did say that the theory behind it was, was probably going to be two for Spider-Man. But of course they say, you know what, it's going to take longer, so PlayStation 5 is going to be coming, so why not just make it to a standalone game, high rested, make it work for the PlayStation 5, and there you go. So, yeah, in my theory, I can agree with that, so my guess is it's going to be a prelude to Spider-Man 2, that there will be a Spider-Man 2 eventually, so it's an expansion to Spider-Man, this time we're going to play as Mal Morales, and again, if you know your Spider-Man lore, uh, the one I know is Spider-Man Ultimate Universe, he, he was a Spider-Man because Peter Parker died, again, a lot of lore been changed around, so I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see, again, I'm not much of a comic expert, but that's what I know about Spider-Man Mile Morales, it's, of course, the game they showed before the closing of the presentation, Horizon 2 The Forbidden West, is an actual sequel to Horizon Dawn Zero, and this time, can sh swim. And apparently, the premise now is that Aloy actually goes to the west, so San Francisco. Because I said on the reaction that, oh, look, the Golden Gate Bridge. So, again, I still have to play the first one, so I don't know the whole story. Is. So, once I finish that one, I might get this in the long run. I mean, it's awesome. Man. So, finally, again, you know, one of the best games that actually was a competitor to Breath of the Wild, and even heck, like I said. Masahiro Sakura even said that playing Horizon Zero Dawn, he felt like playing a Sony version of Breath of the Wild, so kind of interesting there. Will she be in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? I don't think so. But I wouldn't be surprised if she's on the PlayStation All-Star Battle Royale 2. I'll talk about that later. And of course, other first party game that they talked about is Gran Turismo 7. Uh, don't really care about it, but again, the rumors were true. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, it's another one that I was surprised from the rumor, it was true. Oh boy, uh, that's, I don't know what to say, it's like, it's interesting. So, in this one, is apparently it's all about Rift multi-dimension, so they show how the game works, and apparently he goes to different dimension because there's a rift and then he has a new gadget that when he pulls a hook to the rift somehow he gets teleported and then on the cutscene there was a part where Ratchet and Clank got separated and apparently Clank went to this alternate dimension and apparently he met a female Ratchet so what does it mean? I don't know, we just have to wait and see they didn't say when it's gonna come out it looks awesome so I can't wait for that one uh, so Another one I want to make my, give my thoughts on is Dead Zone. And yes, I did talk about it in the reaction that apparently somehow this game actually is Sony IP, but in the West, the reason why Atlas localized the publisher game, I guess Sony of America said, well, nobody's not gonna like this, it's a hard game. Who wants to play this hard game? So they didn't have any confidence. And now when a lot of people are talking about it, Dark Soul, Neo, Bloodborne, so there you go, Dead Soul Remastered for the PlayStation 5. Uh, the port was in charge by Bluepoint, they're known for doing Shadow of the Colossus, correct me if I'm wrong. Demon's Soul actually was developed by From Software, i.e. Armor Core, yes, in the beginning, believe it or not, in PlayStation 1. That was also in Sony IP for a while and then it became an independent IP. A different story there, but... Uh, yeah, so Demon Soul, not really a cup of tea of mine, but I know a lot of people talk about it, including Maximilian. Sackboy, so apparently a new Little Big Planet game, but there was one actually for PlayStation 4, which is this time you have you team up with other Sackboy type architect, but so in this one it looks like it's gonna be now more 3D than 2D. And the question is do you still able to design the game? Because that's the whole point of Little Big Planet. I don't know. They didn't even show it. They did show the gameplay, which again, same goes with Ratchet and Clank. Gameplay. They actually show gameplay. 
And yeah, so it looks interesting. I mean, maybe the long run I'll get it. Like a lot of their Sony first party game, I do like it because it's actually fun. So this one, I didn't know it was a first party game. Returnal, you play as a old lady in a spacesuit. Doesn't really look interesting as of right now, maybe more information. We move on. Destruction All Star. I'm assuming it's a sequel to Destruction Derby from PlayStation 1. Oh, and then another one here for the first party game that I might be interested in. But however, this game is sort of free. So let me explain. Astro's Playroom. So for people who don't know, there was a app for the PlayStation 4, a building app called the PlayStation 4 Playroom. And yeah, the robot was the mascot there. The downside is you need to have a... PlayStation 4 camera in order to play the game. It's kind of like one of those iToy thing. And it was a preload game, like I said, it was a building game. I mean, it's like sort of a tech demo. So for this one, I don't know if you're gonna need a camera, but it looks like it's gonna be one of those probably short, small platformer there. So again, they did say it's gonna be added in like preload. So there you go, you're packing game to some extent. Yes, believe it or not, you might not see it. Sony's do have some sort of packing game to some extent. Like in the case with the PlayStation 3, believe it or not. Yes, not a physical like game packing. However, there was some free downloadable game, like actually full game, but they're free. There was one some sort of like Gran Turismo tech demo that was free there. I know there was some other ones I can remember. Of course the PlayStation 4 has the playroom. I don't know if there was a lot of free to play game. And then, of course, now with the PlayStation 5, Astro's Playroom. And I wouldn't be surprised if the launch of the console, they're also going to have, well, some free to play games. So, who knows? Again, it's not going to come out until holiday of 2020, according to Jim Ryan. My guess also probably going to be in November there. So, those are some of the first party games that they show. So, what about third party games? So, I'm going to start with the indie here. And yes, I'm just using the PlayStation Blog just to make it easy. The one that stands out for me that I am sort of interested in is Oddworld Soulstorm. So a little bit of a history is Oddworld was PlayStation 1 IP for a while. I mean, I think for a while because they needed like a publisher. They later on it became multi platform. Stranger Rat was a Xbox the original one, exclusive for a while. Now I think it's on another console. But yeah, so there's going to be another, it's a indie title, Oddworld. Again, I'm going to assume also it's going to be on other platform here, so <laughs> there you go. So the only one that for the indie that I'm interested, there's one that really caught my eye, but I'm probably not interested straight. So you play a cat in a robot world here, but whatever, moving on. For third party games, there are some, believe it or not. First of all, Grand Theft Auto V, uh, fortunately, apparently, judging by a lot of the, the info that's coming out now, yes. Once again, Grand Theft Auto V will have a PS5 version and an X series version. They say they're gonna add some new content, whether it's multiplayer or single player. I don't know yet, they're not really clear, but they're just saying yeah, they're gonna add some new stuff. But also Grand Theft Auto Online, there will be a PlayStation 5 version. I'm gonna also assume X series version. And that uh, if you get the game, down the game from what I heard, you get some free GTA money and apparently there will be some new feature that's only exclusive to those consoles so again doesn't really answer about the smart delivery but I don't it should hopefully because there is a PS4 version and Xbox One version of Grand Theft Auto 5 but we'll have to wait and see again kind of weird once again Grand Theft Auto 5 on the new console PS5, Xbox Series X, but okay, we we'll have to wait and see. Go to our Tokyo again. Play the guy Shigimikami. He's also the one who did Resident Evil 4. And yes, there was a Resident Evil game they showed. I'll explain that later. So apparently, this game they finally showed gameplay and something really I'm not interested. First person like Resident Evil 7. Ah, uh, really? Godfall finally gameplay. It is exclusive to the PlayStation 5. Was announced in the Game Award. 2019, another new Hitman 3, I don't care, NBA 2K11, 21, 
Nope. Nope. So, two from Kakamon Surprise. Crack Mata. I have no idea what it is. It's gonna be 2022. So, moving on from that one. Another one that was a leak that became true. And that is Resident Evil 8 Village. So, yes, the subtitle village because apparently you go to this weird village, a mysterious village, and it has people. So, that's again, that's actually good because in 7, you just went to this family and you just fight mold over mold over mold. So, once again, you get to play as Ethan. So, hopefully, maybe they finally show what Ethan looks like, you know, what it's fake, but for the time being, Yes, once again it's going to be first person, so again, not really my cup of tea for that one, but it is what it is. And well, Grace Redfield, rumors were true that he is going to be a villain for the game, so again, I don't know what it means, it's not going to come until 2021, I might guess it's going to be April or May, so again, the rumors were true, it's going to be in a European setting, a village castle, kind of like... Resident Evil 4 because that's one of the best one and yeah, there's a rumor about Resident Evil 4 remake. Don't care, not a Resident Evil fan, but if the story they can flesh out, make it even better than 7, then the lower side, oh, I might get interested because believe it or not, Resident Evil 7 storyline is sort of interesting to me, but I just didn't really care about the game. Again, just finding the mold and the baker is like, yeah, but apparently Ethan to team up with Chris for whatever reason and we're gonna go to Europe, and now there's people, and there are more monsters. So hopefully, no mold, but there are actually like bird people of interest there. So again, we just have to wait and see that. One. So those are what they show for the PlayStation 5 reveal. So there are some that we didn't show it there. I can understand. Remember, there's also the new game plus Expo. There's also Evo, and they're probably gonna be they're gonna do their own thing, you know, by fall 2020. So. Just be patient. If something you want to be there, it wasn't there. It's was probably going to be announced on another event or just on YouTube. With that said, the room, other rumor that's supposed to be there or that's supposed to come out, PlayStation All Star Battle Royale 2. There's a rumor that's going to be PlayStation 5. Again, what's it shown? Does it mean it exists or not? Who knows? Maybe it does. Maybe it's going to be on Evo Online. So who knows about that one? Uh, from Konami, the Silent Hill, Reboot, whatever, they didn't show anything, but of course you got Resident Evil 8, so you don't want to clash those two. Heck, you got even Ghost War Tokyo, so why would you want another one to showcase there, so maybe they'll do the wrong thing. So the rumor was that one is that a new Resident Evil Reboot that going to be partnering with Sony, and there was another rumor that said, again, this is the far-fetched one, Silent Hills, the one that Konami and Kojima basically had a problem and they fell apart. They said they were trying to revive that one again. Who knows what it is? Just have to wait and see. There was even a rumor about a what? Metal Gear game that's gonna come. Because there was some of the rumor that Sony was interested of acquiring the IP from the Silent Hill, Castlevania, and Metal Gear because since Konami's not doing anything about it. I mean, there was also another rumor about maybe they're just gonna buy Konami, but again, who no, knows? That'll be interesting. So, and then of course, the Capcom fighting game, nothing. Again, a new Capcom fighting game. There was a rumor it's either a Capcom versus versus Capcom, or a Capcom versus SK. I mean, that was a far fetched one. Marvel versus Capcom 4, there's another one that people were talking about it, but again, far fetched rumor. And I know what if Arcade just did X Men vs. Street Fighter and Marvel Super Hero vs. Street Fighter Arcade? Probably it's nothing there. Uh, of course, Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2. Of course, I mean, they did say it's not going to be there for a while. It's going to be like two years. So if it's 2020, it's probably going to be 2022. Uh, yeah, who knows? So, yeah. So, when I said about the uh, person with 8 out of 10, there are something that, well, worth it sure that I'm interested. Well, where's the anime genre? Where's the uh, Japanese JRPG? They didn't show anything later on. Where's my waifu? Where's my fighting game? So, again, yeah, they had Japanese game, but the genre is just not interesting. So, who knows? Again, maybe it's gonna reveal like later on down the line. Again, like I said, the new Game Plus Expo. 
be more online, maybe put some more talk to game show online. Yes, they try to announce that game's kind of online. Who knows? So yeah, so those are my thoughts about the PlayStation Bill. I think it's awesome. Yeah, so with that, I'll see you guys later.